This is U.S. Army and Vietnam veteran Ken McConnell. And on behalf of MilitaryBandsman.com, I want to welcome you to our podcast for November 2014. This is the latest in a series of monthly broadcasts reviewing the prior month's activities on our website, www.MilitaryBandsman.com. We also want to share current events and band news, as well as reunion dates and future military band performances. Have you had a chance to listen to the 322nd Army Service Forces Band? More about this amazing post-World War II swing band at the end of the broadcast. Before we get started, we'd like to share charitable information about Operation Homefront. Operation Homefront assists military families during difficult financial times by providing food assistance, auto and home repair, vision care, travel and transportation, moving assistance, essential home items, and financial assistance. For more information about this military veteran charity, visit www.operationhomefront.net. Militarybandsman.com's sole purpose is to help reconnect veteran military musicians from all branches of service, past and present. It's a free website. Look at your band's roster to see who you might find. Let's get started by reviewing new members for November 2014. Joshua Campbell, U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps percussionist and enlisted conductor. Matthew Gravely, U.S. Marine Corps and U.S. Army clarinet player. Bob Jameson, U.S. Army, Army Reserves, National Guard, and U.S. Air Force trumpet player. Fred Boswell, U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps trumpet player. Buffy Sukup, U.S. Marine Corps French horn player. Tom Yogi O'Connor, U.S. Air Force trombone player. Edward Hayes, U.S. Navy clarinet and saxophone player. Sharon Sanders, U.S. Army clarinet player. Pam Jeffries Johnson, U.S. Navy clarinet and saxophone player. Carolyn Bartholomew, U.S. Army trumpet and piano player. Ronald Gregg, U.S. Army percussionist. John Matheson, U.S. Navy trumpet player. Carlos Cardo, U.S. Marine Corps clarinet and saxophone player and Marine musician recruiter. Stan Skirloff, U.S. Army flute player. Kendra Sides Reap. U.S. Marine Corps clarinet player. Dave Trimble, U.S. Army trumpet player. Lloyd Martin, U.S. Army piano player and percussionist. Ken Grappenstraw, U.S. Air Force piano player. Charles Harris, U.S. Navy trumpet player. Michael Pingator, U.S. Marine Corps field drummer. Robert Colwatt, U.S. Marine Corps saxophone player. Tim Shorn, U.S. Army tuba player. Gary Dobney, U.S. Marine Corps trombone player. Ed Knox, U.S. Army French horn player. Richard Cole, U.S. Army trumpet player. Jack Dusick, U.S. Army trumpet and euphonium player. Mr. David Evans, U.S. Navy bassist and bandmaster. John Williams, U.S. Army saxophone player. Lisa Mellinger, U.S. Army flute and piccolo player. Travis Tyson, U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps percussionist. B. Ivy Stiles, U.S. Marine Corps tuba and electric bass player. Jeff Morgan, U.S. Navy clarinet and saxophone player. And lastly, Brian North, U.S. Navy percussionist. Starting December 10th through the 13th, the 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force Band will be performing a series of Christmas concerts. The band will perform nightly at 7 p.m. at the Kubasaki High School Auditorium, which is located at Camp Foster in Okinawa, Japan. And the United States Navy Band invites you to ring in the season at their annual holiday concert on December 20th at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday, December 21st at 3 p.m. The performances will take place at Constitution Hall in Washington, D.C., our Facebook groups have added 41 new members in November, and as of this broadcast, our Military Bandsman Facebook page and this website have reached 988 likes. You can contribute to the success of these groups by interacting on their pages, and be sure to click the Like button. We're closing in on that 1,000 like milestone. Our weekly updated feature, The Back of the Bus, The Life and Times of Military Musicians, is presented by veteran Air Force musician Fred Robinson 
as he shares excerpts from his book series written by veteran musicians for veteran musicians. Enjoy reading The Back of the Bus by clicking on the link on our homepage, www.militarybandsman.com. So, back to the 322nd Army Service Forces Band. This unique Army band was stationed at Tilton General Army Hospital, which was the base hospital at Fort Dix, New Jersey, at the end of World War II. The 322nd Army Service Forces Band broadcast a weekly radio show from the hospital titled A Package from the Patients. The band was commanded by Colonel S.J. Kearns and directed by Chief Warrant Officer Frank Esposito. We have rare recordings of this band given to us by the late U.S. Army trumpet player Gene LaRocca. These outstanding radio shows can be heard by clicking on the 322nd Army Band's link on our website's homepage. We invite you to sit back, listen, and relax to this timeless big band music from 1945. Here's a salute to all military musicians, past, present, and future. And to all of the veterans who have served our country in the United States Armed Forces. This is U.S. Army and Vietnam veteran Ken McConnell. And on behalf of MilitaryBandsman.com, we wish you a safe and happy holiday and hope you enjoy this broadcast. See you in the new year. <laughs>